Hey, my name's Hawken, and I'm a relatively new birder. To make birding even more exciting for me this year, I set myself a challenge to see every single bird in this Birds of Utah field guide this year. With only 12 total birds remaining in the challenge, come with me as I go look for the blue grosbeak at an area just south of Utah Lake. Hey, what's up everyone? I'm at a brand new birding hotspot looking for the blue grosbeak as you probably saw in my intro. I'm out at the southern point of Utah Lake. Now Utah Lake is a pretty huge lake in Utah County. It's an area I've notoriously not birded. So I'm a bit unfamiliar with this area, but I reached out to someone who had submitted a checklist and they gave me an idea of where to look for the blue grosbeak that's been spotted here. I'm running against the clock here because first of all, today the sun's gonna be going down in about an hour and a half, but also the blue grosbeak are gonna start migrating south fairly quickly, like within the next few weeks. So I don't think they're gonna stick around much longer. Hopefully I can find this one today. It was an absolute feeding frenzy with swallows flying everywhere, I assume looking for bugs and stuff to eat. I couldn't find anything else amidst all of these birds. There were just so many different swallows. Most of these were northern rough winged, as well as a few bank swallows mixed in with the occasional barn swallow that I picked out too. It was super fun to watch them, but not helpful as I was trying to look for a blue gross beak amidst this huge mass of birds. This is just absolutely nuts. Swallows flying everywhere. So as you can see from the drone footage, this is the dirt road that I was birding and there was trees and brush along with a little canal and some water patches on either side. So essentially, I was basically just driving along this dirt road, stopping every once in a while to look and listen for birds and trying to hear that distinct gross beak call. It was a beautiful area, especially with the sun setting. I had it pretty much to myself, only a few other cars came by. But after a few different stops and getting closer to the end of the road, I decided to double back to go to the area where I'm pretty sure the blue gross beak was, because I had not seen any sight or sound of it up until this point. So here I am back at the original start of the dirt road. I've heard it at least three times now. It keeps calling out there and then I heard it over there before, but I just can't seem to see it. It's definitely a gross beak call and someone told me it's in this area too, like this specific area that I'm, there it was again, I just heard it one more time. Jeez, I need to find this thing. As I heard the calls all around me, I turned my attention towards the bushes as I saw a bird with a larger bill hopping around. And there it was, my lifer blue grosbeak. Yet another challenge bird off the list. Now just a quick note if it wasn't clear, these are female or juvenile birds, so they won't live up to the male's blue coloration that gives it the name blue grosbeak. Nonetheless, this is the bird I was looking for and I'm so happy to get it off the list. I 
I just got eyes on it. That's the Lifer Blue Grosbeak. I honestly wasn't sure if I was gonna get this bird and it might've ended the challenge if I didn't see it soon. So wow, that is so incredible to get the Blue Grosbeak off the list. I'm gonna stick around here, see if I can get any better views of it. And then I'll continue down to the end of the road, see if I see any other cool birds as well. There's been a couple shorebirds calling around, so maybe I'll pick up some of those too. But I just heard it call one more time. Beautiful day. It's hard to put into words how big finding that blue gross beak was. I'll show you the bar chart up on the screen right now. In this Utah area, first of all, they're extremely rare birds. There's not been that many reportings of them on eBird compared to a lot of the other species on the list. But secondly, if you look at the bar chart, I was only a few weeks away from them being commonly out of the area. So I would have probably not completed the challenge if I didn't get this bird today because I don't know how many more times I could have made the hour drive down here after work. So I feel super fortunate. It's also just a beautiful day with a gorgeous sunset. Man, that's awesome. It's hard to get over that feeling. I will say though, going out and targeting one species is not always the most fun thing. So if you're looking to get into birding, just go out and enjoy it. Because if you don't see that one species, it can definitely set you up for disappointment if that's all you're focused on. Regardless, that one's off the list. I'm gonna go see if I can get any more species right before the sun goes down. I spent some time with this great blue heron, hopefully wanting to see it catch a fish. Unfortunately, this didn't happen, but in the foreground here, a beaver or probably a muskrat actually popped up out of nowhere, which is so crazy. Just random things you see in the wild. The light is getting really low now, making it a lot harder to get any good photos or videos. But the sunset is just gorgeous. I'm looking at it over there. It honestly looks like a painting with how the colors blend into each other. It's unreal. This is why I love birding. It just gets me outside in nature and these gorgeous scenery, having some awesome adventures. Seeing that blue gross beak just made my day, made the video, and I hope you enjoyed coming along with me on this journey. Thank you as always for tuning into my videos. I will see you in the next one.